Hello students, so in this lecture uh, we shall be talking about uh, field effect transistors or FET. In the field effect transistor, uh, the output characteristics is controlled by the input voltage, that is, an electric field. So, output characteristics is controlled by uh, the input voltage. That is uh, the electric field. That is how this name uh, field effect. Now, FETs are of uh, two types. One is uh, junction field effect transistors, and uh, it is metal oxide. MOSFET. I have uh, done my one lecture on MOSFET. You can see it in the YouTube uh, videos. Today we will be focusing on this GFET. Now, talking about GFET, uh, we need to first understand some terms related to a junction field of transistors. It is again uh, consisting of a source, a drain, and a gate. source, strain, and gate at present. This is the basic structure of a field effect transistor. Now, uh, there are certain terms, for example, there is a term called uh, short circuit drain current. Uh, short, short, short gate. IDS short drain current. Then we have pinch of voltage VP this is a pinch of voltage. And there is a gate to source cutoff voltage. This is gate to source cutoff voltage, and uh, now this ID uh, IDSS is again uh, is a measure uh, of the gate uh, short gate under short gate conditions. Um, this is actually IDSS, not IDS, and the maximum gate current that one can get with the normal operation of GAVT. So like that. So now uh, there is a normal operation. Now there is a, a maximum drain voltage also. So VDS max, as we have IDSS is IDS maximum value of the uh, drain to source current. So similarly, we have VDS max. Uh, that can be applied to. This is the voltage that can be applied to an uh, JVT. Uh, and if the voltage is more than uh, VTS max, then JFT uh, will break down. And, uh, and this pinch of voltage is where the operation of JFT starts. So below uh, V, below VP, there is no operation, no current. Now, uh, 
the region between VP. So we have a VP where from this uh, get current properties, get current start, and we have a VT max where the after that there is further no more VT currents. There is a breakdown. So between uh, VP and uh, VDS max. The IV region is called the active region or uh, for the constant current region. As long as uh, this VDS, as long as VDS is kept within this range, ID will remain constant. But as long as VDS is in between uh, VP and VDS max, VDS max, uh, ID will be constant. For a constant value of VGS. Wait. Now, what are the uh, advantages of uh, GFET? It gives very high input impedance. So high is the input impedance of about 100 uh, mega ohms. Uh, this permits high degree of oscillation between the input and the output circuits. So it leads to a high degree. Isolation between input and output circuits. Now, the operation of a JFT depends upon the bulk material current carriers that do not cross junctions. So the second advantage is uh, operation of uh, GFT uh, depends upon uh, bulk material current carriers. Carriers uh, that uh, do not cross the junction by bulk material current carriers. I mean electrons and holes. There is electrons and holes that do not cross the junctions. Uh, therefore, the inherent uh, noise of the tubes do not cross the junction. Therefore, the inherent noise of tubes due to high temperature operation and those of transistor due to junction transistors are not present in JFT. So it actually uh, reduces the noise. And uh, another one is it has got uh, a negative uh, temperature coefficient of resistance. Means if we increase the temperature, the resistance goes down. And uh, that is why uh, this avoids uh, risk of thermal runaway. So, avoids thermal runaway. Apart from that, 
JFET has got a really high power gain. So uh, this eliminates the necessity of using uh, driver stages. Eliminates the use of uh, driver stages. Secondly, in J fifty uh, has founder size. It has longer life. And high efficiency. So these are parallel images of uh, J fifty. Now uh, coming to the parameters. and based upon which the property or the efficiency or workability of GVT is decided. Firstly, you have uh, AC drain resistance. This is RD and it is equal to change in the Drain source voltage divided by change in the drain current, and uh, this is at constant gate source voltage. So, this is the first parameter. The second parameter, uh, okay, now the drain resistance, uh, let me see something on it. The drain resistance of a GVT has a large value as we have already seen it's about 10 to the power uh, 10 kilo ohm to 1 uh, mega ohm this is the drain resistance and uh, if you have a resistance say RS and the voltage across the resistance will be VH is equal to uh, ID into RS this is stands for the source so this is the source voltage and uh, we can have VGS is equal to minus IDR. This is close in the opposite direction and we can write the drain current IDR is equal to IDSS 1 minus uh, VGS by VP whole square and we can also write VDS is equal to VDD uh, minus ID RD plus RS. So, coming again, so, uh, so a voltage gain in uh, JFET is uh, equal to L divided by RD plus RL. We have explained what is in RD. This is the AC transistance. This uh, mu uh, is called the amplification factor. It is the amplification factor and it is equal to the AC transistance into something called uh, GFS. GFS is the transconductance and uh, GFS is actually equal to the ratio of ID and uh, change in ID and change in VGS at constant VDS. So GFS 
and the amplification factor mu again can be written as equal to change in VGS divided by change in VGS at uh, constant drain current. Okay, so these are the parameters. Now, if somebody tells you to find out the amplification factor, uh, suppose someone tells you that amplification factor uh, is uh, 100. And there are two different frequencies, a lower frequency of 100 hertz, and there is a higher frequency of, say, uh, 100 kilohertz. And there is a feedback uh, factor. Beta equal to 99. Feedback is when you the output you are again uh, putting as an input. So it beta is equal to 0 0.99 means most of the output has been put as an input. And it is connected to the feedback cycle is connected to an amplifier. Then the, there will be a lower uh, cutoff and upper cutoff frequency. So the efficiency of the lower cutoff frequency AF is equal to A uh, open loop gain divided by 1 plus open loop gain into beta. So uh, open loop gain you, or amplification factor you can say is 100. So if you put the values of the, these quantities here, that means if you put uh, 100 and divided by uh, 1 plus 100 into uh, beta, that is 0 0.99. So the value turns out to be equal to 1. So this is the amplification or voltage in with respect to the frequency. Thank you.